Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to highlight some awesome PC game deals that are live right now. Especially if you're into Square Enix titles and you have an XP membership on Green Man Gaming, man, you can make out like a bandit with some of these deals. They're running on some great titles, so we'll talk about that. Some other deals over at GMG and want to give you guys a heads up on some Humble Bundles that are running. One of them, very good, just got extended to a little bit longer, so you got a little bit more time to pick it up if you do want. More on that in a little bit, but first of all, Green Man Gaming is doing a Square Enix showcase sale. Um, the deals themselves, if you're not an XP member, they're like... Pretty typical, like, deals that you'll have on Square Enix games. Not bad deals by any stretch of the imagination. Near Replicant for $30, Final Fantasy XV for $17.50, Octopath Traveler for $30, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate for $49.69, etc. However, if you are an XP member, go into your XP page, and you can redeem a voucher for 20% off on select Square Enix titles. This stacks with the deals that are already running... And now we're really talking as far as getting good deals because Final Fantasy XV all of a sudden is $14. Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, typically $25, is $20. Final Fantasy X, X2 HD Remaster is $12. Final Fantasy XIII, $6.40 for FF13. That is a steal, in my opinion. I know people have their mixed opinions on FF13, but man, for that price point, that's a great deal. FF13 2 is $8. Lightning Returns is $8. Near Replicant is $24. Octopath Traveler, $24. Oninaki, $16. Star Ocean The Last Hope HD Remaster is $6.72. So suddenly, those deals become very, very good, and I would strongly recommend those at that price point. As far as Final Fantasy VII Remake goes, that can also be had with an XP offer, taking it down to $39.75. So that's an awesome deal as well. If you think FF7 Remake is a bit overpriced, and many people do think it's overpriced on PC, $70 was a tall ask. However, for $39 and change, that's a great deal for for FF7 in my opinion, so definitely go check that out. Outside of that, you've got deals on other Square Enix titles, like the newly released The Dio Field Chronicle, that's 20% off for $48. If you'd like to pre-order anything else, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is $40. Obviously, that's not out until December, but, you know, if you do want to pick it up, that's a great deal. Valkyrie Elysium can be had for $48, so if you are an XP uh, member, which most of you guys probably are at this stage of the game, those are some really good deals, and, um, if nothing else, the 20% stacking on the games that are already available, like your FF7 Remakes, FF15, FF13, uh, Octopath Traveler, Near Replicant, those are awesome, awesome deals that I would strongly recommend. Uh, moving on from that, if you are excited for Uncharted The Legacy of Thieves Collection, 18% off for $41, you know... $50 is a bit pricey. Uh, 41 is a little bit more palatable. I loved Uncharted 4. Lost Legacy is more of the same, but still pretty good. Um, you know, don't pay $50 for it. Pay 41 if you are excited for it. Um, you know, wish Nathan Drake Collection was on PC, but hopefully in due time, my friends, that will be happening as well. For now, we'll be able to check out the Legacy of Thieves collection come October 19th. And then also, I do want to note a Hogwarts Legacy. That is 20% off for $48 if you are looking to get a head jump on that. That obviously is not releasing until February 10th, so still a ways away. But uh, if you are excited for it, you know, you're saving a lot of money playing that game on PC versus consoles, given the console version is $70 plus tax, PC $48 at Green Man Gaming. So that's a really solid pickup, all things considered. All right, lastly... Want to highlight a couple humble bundles that are running. The Starlight Bundle, $10 for top tier. Gets you Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars 3, Pinball FX 3, Star Wars KOTOR 1 and 2, Grim Fandango Remastered, Aliens Colonial Marines Collection, KOTOR 1 and 2, as I mentioned, and then Jedi Knight 1 and 2, Full Throttle Remastered, and Aliens vs. Predator. That has just been extended for a week, so you can check that out a little bit longer. And then Total War The Classics Collection, Medieval 2, Total War Definitive Edition, Total War Shogun, 2, Shogun 2, Rise of the Samurai, Empire Total War, Medieval Total War Collection, Napoleon Total War, Viking Battle for Asgard, and Shogun Total War Collection. All of that for $12. Remember, with Humble, you choose where your money goes. Developer, Humble, Charity, or you can kick back me a couple cents or a couple bucks if you do want. Just adjust the slider and you'll be good to go. But that is going to do it for me. Again, awesome Square Enix deals over on Green Man Gaming. You gotta check those out. Just some tremendous, tremendous deals. Uh, if you can 
can stack the 20% if you're an XP member. Valkyrie Elysium, Dio Field Chronicle, Crisis Course, and pre-orders discounted as well. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, Hogwarts Legacy, and then you've also got the Starlight Bundle and Total War Bundle over at Humble. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.